I mean, is this a race? Is it a love connection waiting to happen? Is it an opportunity to help others? Well, the answer is the Cupid's Chase 5K is all of the above. Wow, so dramatic today. <laughs> well, Wendy Mahan is here with the details about this wonderful day. Wendy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So before we kind of dive into this awesome event, which Tina is really excited about <laughs> and has a whole plan, which I can't wait for her to tell you, let's first talk about community options and what you're really yeah. about. Okay. Um, Community Options is a national nonprofit organization. We are currently operating in 10 states and 40 different cities. Um, we're headquartered in Princeton, New Jersey. Um, we've been around since 1989. We're supporting people with developmental disabilities, we provide um, housing and employment supports for those individuals. And so we do things like the Cupid's Chase in right. order to, to raise funds in order for that to happen. So what kind of programs does this money go towards? Um, here in Arizona, Community Options has respite programs, attendant care, um, and that's where we would go in and help the individuals do things like grooming, um, bathing, dressing, things that they're not able to do completely independently. Um, we also have employment programs. Um, one of the things that I'm really excited about here in Arizona is um, transition to employment, which is a relatively new um, idea that the state of Arizona has come up with to get kids, students who are 16 to 22, and we train them in different areas um, to get them ready for the workforce. So, well, you know I'm a fan of a big fun event like this, but to know that the funds are going to such a great cause and to help so many people, it just, it's like icing on a cake. So let's really talk about the Cupid's Chase 5K and what, what we're going to be doing. Okay. Yeah, the Cupid's Chase, this year we're actually doing a 5K and 10K. It's going to be at Oral Valley Marketplace. And we invite people to walk, run, or stroll. So you don't have to be a professional runner to come out and join us. Um, we have people that push their kids in strollers. Um, we have people in wheelchairs who participate. So it's kind of something for everybody. Um, we're raising money to support people with developmental disabilities. And all the money that we raise stays here locally in Tucson to support those people. And I know you brought a shirt with you today. I uh, and on the front of the shirt, is this the uh, unavailable shirt? It is. So we have an unavailable, but we also have shirts that say available. Right. <laughs> so all of the shirts are either red or white. And on the back, they say available or unavailable, depending on the person's relationship status. Um, and we like to think that people who have available shirts on, might make a love connection at the event. Ooh. We've had it happen before, so. I definitely think it could happen, especially if Tina is there. <laughs> what did you say on commercial break there? Well, I said if you needed an outfit to wear to this event, you could just do like the diaper and then the bow and arrow, bow like and arrow. Cupid. <laughs> that would be a hit at the 5K, don't you think? I didn't say I was gonna do it. I just said somebody should do I it. I do wish you would. Somebody might. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> well, I was looking at, at some of the information and you've actually raised tons of money in the last two years for people in our community. It's just such a wonderful cause. So do we have any kind of goals set for this year? Um, this year here in Arizona, I'm planning on, hoping on raising at least $7,000 for our local office here. Um, and that will go directly back into supporting the individuals here in Tucson. So whether it's renovating a home to make it accessible for those individuals or um, buying a wheelchair accessible van um, with the automatic lift on the back, whatever we need here. For our people. And in order to get more of those funds, we even have a way for people that maybe cannot attend the actual event. Did you have a virtual way to be a participant? We do. We have a virtual runner um, where you can participate. You can sign up online, and if you can't be at the event or if you decide it's too cold and you don't want to go outside, um, you can actually sign up online as a virtual participant, and you still get your T-shirt um, with unavailable or available, whichever one you choose. <laughs> I awesome. think that's great. And so people, of course, I've done several 5Ks. Is there like a time when I can pick up my packet and do all that? Yes. Um, we're having our packet pickup on Friday the 12th, and it's going to be at Fleet Feet on Oracle Road from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, and at that, you can pick up your T-shirt, your bag, your bib number, everything, so you don't have to show up too early on race day. So, and your diaper and your, uh, <laughs> your bow and arrow. No, 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 that won't be in the bag. That's, that, that's not a thing. Community Options does great work. I'm so glad you guys are here um, in Arizona. I love that the money stays local, and this is such a great event. And if tell me later if there is any love connections. I, I would love, love that we story. Know. We love that stuff. That'd be a great story. Thank you so much for Thank having you. today. Remember, everyone, the Cupid's Chase 5K will take place this Saturday at the Oro Valley Marketplace with registration at 7.30 a.m. and the race starting at 9 a.m. For more information, call 306 137 
1175 or visit cupidschase.org.